Indeed, God has been good and faithful to Christ Arsenal Ministries International members, workers, and leaders. Here are some notable testimonies shared by a few of many testifiers who have been experiencing God's wonders from the beginning till the middle of the year. Jennifer of Christ Impact Assembly, one of Christ Arsenal Ministries International Chapters, is thanking God for divine provision of her school fees. Some time ago, her mom had called her to inform her that there was no hope of paying her school fees. Jennifer felt very bad as it was a few weeks to her school examinations, which was the deadline to pay school fees. During one of the Cami Sunday services in March 2021, she heard a sister who was handling praise report speak about how an unexpected person helped to pay her school fees. Jennifer confessed this scripture which the sister had referred to, which was Philippians 4 verse 19, and she declared boldly that she would pay her school fees the following week. On Tuesday the following week, she received another call from her mom that someone who the family hadn't heard from for years sent money for her school fees, which was even more than the school fees amount. Glory to God. Ahis is thanking God for cash gifts. On a faithful Sunday service, Pastor gave a message about someone getting cash from someone they didn't expect or never even asked for the cash from. The next day, which was on a Monday, she got an alert on her phone from someone that has never sent her cash before. Neither did the person even ask her for the account details. The person asked someone else for her account details and sent the cash to her. Hallelujah. Here is a testimony that shows the mercy of God at work. Favor of Christ Arsenal Ministries International Headquarters Media Unit is thanking God for sparing her mother's life despite a ghastly accident. Earlier that month, Pastor Philip had talked about Cami members praying on Psalms 91 to secure protection for their families. That very morning, before she got the news, she was on a bus and she saw a flyer which had the scripture Psalm 91 written boldly on it. She decided to just pray the verses she could remember about Psalm 91. Later that evening, on her way to church, she was reminded that God is a merciful God. So she started praying and thanking God for mercies. It was after the service that she got the news from her younger brother that her mom was involved in a ghastly accident that she could not speak. She immediately told all her siblings to pray Psalm 91 over their mom and praise God. She praised God with her friends for over an hour. To the glory of God, her mom regained consciousness and was speaking the next day. Hallelujah. Evans is thanking God for the protection of his dad. He said pastor gave an instruction to pray against death and for the elderly, which he did, and he got an instruction to travel home. While he was in church with his dad, Armed robbers came in shooting and took his dad away. Everyone began to panic, but he prayed and sold a seed immediately. He also remembered the principles of quietness, so he left to a quiet place to pray and make confessions. Afterwards, he felt peace and victory that his dad would come back home untouched. Evans also reported to his head, and a word was released that all will be fine. He said prayers were made every day with thanksgiving, after which his dad was released untouched and unharmed. Praise be to the Lord. Precious of Christ Arsenal Ministries International Media Unit is thanking God for his faithfulness in her school seminar presentation. All the while, she had been jokingly confessing to her schoolmates that God should cause them not to ask her any questions during her seminar presentation. They would laugh at her because they knew that it was impossible for that to happen since her department was one that was notorious for asking their seminar students questions until they could not answer. 
but God likes to step into impossible matters. On the seminar presentation day, when it was a few minutes to her turn, the professor who liked to bombard students with questions left the hall. It came to her turn and after she had presented, the chairman asked the other lecturers and professors if they had any questions or corrections. And to everyone's great surprise, none of them had any questions whatsoever. Her schoolmates were so surprised that they asked her afterwards how she did it. It could only have been God, she said. Hallelujah. Divine is thanking God for her first semester result. When the semester started, she was really scared. Even few weeks to examinations, she was still not ready for her exams. Then, the leaders in the media unit put up a WhatsApp group to help students out. They were told to write what they saw as failure and what they wanted to get in their courses. They were directed to get past questions and look for patterns. They were also given other instructions like breaking of bread, directing their angels, praise and thanksgiving before and after examinations. She also met with her head who directed her and helped her plan with the time she had left. Though she didn't follow them perfectly, she put her effort to carry them out. After the examinations, she continued in thanksgiving, even if she was not as consistent as she wanted to be. Her result came out great. She got all A's and a B, making a CGPA of 4.9. What a marvelous God we serve. Gladys is thanking God for miracle jobs. At the beginning of April 2021, Pastor Philip gave a word about miracle jobs and miracle money. He keyed in and started praising God for her new job. She also got an instruction to pay double of her type. It was not easy, but she had to do it. She also sowed a seed. She did an interview that same week and she got the job. Glory to God. Mercy streamed a live service on a Sunday where Pastor prophesied about people getting jobs that month. She went ahead and applied for a job and became one of the seven people who were selected out of the over 50 proposals that had been submitted for the same position. She scheduled a video interview with the client and was selected immediately and even forwarded the contract on the spot. In the past two months, Mercy has gotten numerous clients that have reached out to her over the same project. This can only be the power of God. Rita is thanking God for divine healing. She recollects how on a Tuesday in March 2021, she wasn't feeling too well. This feeling went on throughout that day and she concluded that she would take self-medicated drugs the next morning. Unfortunately, the next morning, she couldn't stand from her bed because of how severe the ailment had become. She remembered that Pastor Sidney had talked about the power of meditating on the Word of God and how it can change things even when you do not have the power to pray. Despite her heaviness and drowsiness, she began to study the Word of God. Few hours later, all the feverish, painful, and heavy feeling had left her body, and she did not even have to take any medication whatsoever. Glory be to God. Ephosa is thanking God for using him to raise the dead. He recollects how he just came back to his house only to hear a loud shout. He went to where the noise was coming from and discovered that it was his neighbor's daughter. He saw that her and her family members with a crowd were gathered around her father's lifeless body. They had poured water and tried other resuscitating measures on him, but none was working. He went to the body and placed his hand on his chest and discovered that he wasn't breathing at all. He remembered the teaching of our senior pastor that we should not just jump into things, but we should inquire of the Holy Spirit. So he did exactly that. The Holy Spirit told him to place his hand on the man's stomach and call forth 
his spirit into his body. He did that, and when he had said it the third time, the man opened his eyes and started breathing deeply. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God still does wonders in us, to us, for us, and through us. He is only seeking those who have an open mind and a believing heart. Will you be the next in line to testify?